What's going on guys? So we're back here with another video. Uh, it's going to be the Traxxas Slash 4x4 Mike Jenkins uh, VXL. So I actually changed the uh, the chassis to an LCG chassis because I'm going to convert this eventually to a rally. Uh, so it's going to have the LCG chassis um, and that's pretty much the only changes I've done. Uh, it also has a, a, the rally tires on there as well. Um, it's going to be running on 3S. And um, yeah, so that's what we've got going on today. So I also, uh, I was driving this thing on the, on the street not too long ago on 3S and it was just hard to, exactly, hard to control. So I'm taking it out to the park today and going to try to play with it without breaking it. But um, I'm not sure what's going on with this. I'm not sure if it's uh, just uh, so much power that I don't have very good control or what. But uh, recently, when I started to, after I changed the body out and changed the tires and everything, it's a little bit harder to handle. So I'm not sure what's going on with this thing. Maybe it's just all the power. Maybe it's, uh, it has to be something. Maybe the wheels aren't balanced right. I don't know. So that was full throttle right there. Full throttle right there. It's probably going about 40 miles per hour. So it's gonna have the standard uh, gearing right now, whatever it comes with it. I, I actually had to replace the, uh, that's what it, do, it, likes, it likes to do a lot. So it has the, uh, I had to replace the spur gear recently cause uh, I tore the thing up, it wasn't the pinion the motor wasn't tight and it uh, stripped the, sp the spur gear so I changed it to I think it's a 52 tooth right now and it was a 54 so oh uh -huh, yes thank you so yeah it likes to roll a lot a lot more since I changed the uh, the chassis out but I'm, I'm thinking just maybe there's something that small that needs to get tweaked on it I'm not sure what it is so that's I was full throttle right there. So uh, I told you guys about the event, the Arizona bashing, uh, Arizona RC bashing event that was held a couple of weekends ago, last weekend, uh, over here in Phoenix. Uh, so that's an annual event. And that thing was, I went to that with my uh, friend uh, that's not into RC cars, but he went, went with me and that thing was pretty fun. They had a... That was my first real RC event that I went to and they had a lot of awesome uh, little awesome games, not games, but uh, RC car competitions. So they had one that was like a tug of war that you hook, hook up a sled to the, you hook up a sled to the, the car and whoever uh, can pull the heaviest amount of weight the furthest wins that competition. They also had um, they had 21, which is basically where you set up uh, three. You set up a ramp, and you set up three pieces of plywood on the other side of the ramp. Uh, you put 10, 11, and 21 on on the pieces of plywood. Uh, you have to jump the ramp and try to hit 21 by jumping on the plywood. Uh, whoever hits 21 goes to the next round and, and you continue that until you uh, There's no more people that hit 21. So or, or, or the highest person so oops So that was a uh, pretty cool. They also had uh, The send it the send, send it challenge, which is basically whoever can send their send the car uh, the furthest on a, a ramp uh, Wins that competition so basically uh, you try to get as fast as you can go and you hit the the ramp as fast as you can go It's gonna send the car as, as far as you can go uh, So the car that won was an Arma Talon An Arma Talon uh, I'm not sure how it was geared. It had small smaller tires uh, It went pretty far and uh, that was actually the, the event obviously that broke the most amount of cars and that I did not I did not uh, participate in any of the events. I wanted to just go and check it out. I don't want to break any of my cars. Um, 
so that was pretty cool they also had a dash for a dash for cash basically uh you uh everybody that, that participates has to put at least a dollar in uh you go like let's say that that tree right there you would uh do a lap around that tree so the start the starting uh the starting point where, would be where I'm standing. You do a lap around that tree and come back. Whoever passes me uh, wins all the cash in the bag. So that was pretty cool. They also had a um, like a monster jam type event, uh, like, the, uh, like a grave digger monster jam, jam uh, type of event where you, you basically line up two cars on either side, line up the cones. You have the ramp um, in the middle coming back. So you basically have to uh, go through the uh, jump the ramp, go through the cones, come back. Whoever hits the ramp first on the way back goes to the next round, and you keep doing that until uh, there's only one car that wins. Uh, so that was pretty cool too. Uh, that one took a while. There was two events that took about 25 minutes. That was going to be the 20, uh, 21, and that was going to be the Grave Digger. A monster jam type of competition I, I forget what it's called but uh i took footage of all that and i'm gonna have uh post i'm gonna post that on my uh, my uh channel pretty soon uh, i also changed the name of the channel to arizona rc uh, i've been trying to think of a of a name to call my channel here for a while i've been i mean to, to change the the name uh, and I've been thinking about it for a while and I finally came up with Arizona RC, but I kind of I think I'm gonna change it to Arizona RC addict uh, Because I feel like I'm addicted to RC cars So I think I'm gonna be changing my channel officially to Arizona RC addict um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to use the word addict just because it kind of comes with a negative connotation, so um, But I mean we're all in, in this thing for the for the fun, the the hobby and the fun. So can't take it too seriously, you know. But um, they're supposed to be having another event over here in Phoenix, uh, March 27th at the same location. I think at one o'clock p.m. If you guys want to come out there, um, it's going to be not as big as a not as big as the first one, but it's going to be uh, similar. So they had some really awesome cars there too. They had the, uh, I have a video on my channel that I just posted about a minute and five or 10 seconds. They had a, uh, a truck that the, had front and rear, uh, rear wheel steering and uh, had a little tow hitch on the, on the front and it had a, a little, uh, some speakers that played music. That thing was pretty cool. Uh, they also had a whole bunch of fifth scales. They had a whole bunch of X maxes, probably four or five X maxes. They have uh, had one fifth scales uh, Creightons. Uh, they had, uh, I think it's, what is it? Uh, Rampage, Rampage. It had something Rampage. Uh, one fifth scale Rampage, either gas or nitro. I can't think of, oops, I can't think of what it's called though right now. Or the first. Red Cat, I think it was Red Cat Rampage is what it was. One fifth scale Red, uh, Red Cat Rampage. That thing was loud and mean. Um, and they also had uh, they had some E Revos, uh, 2.0. I think I saw one of those out there. What else was out there? They had a, a whole bunch of Mojaves. Uh, they had probably two or three Mojaves, Arma Mojaves. I think it's Arma Arma Mojaves out there that were. Uh, racing with two other cars and they were uh, pretty quick those cars are pretty quick I think the top speeds around 60 though that was fun to drive I've those uh, videos as well maybe I'll be posting uh, I have a lot more content I, I want to be posting here pretty soon so like I said this car right here I'm going to change it to, into a rally eventually but I kind of like how the, the look of this and uh, how it's lower to the ground. I want to get the uh, the handling under control, how it likes to roll a lot, but I want to figure that thing out. So, it's going to be full speed right there. Like I said, it's going to be st stock gearing. Uh, if you guys have any uh, types of videos you guys, you guys want to see or 
certain cars that you want to see oops certain cars that you want to see uh, let me know uh, of course I'll be posting a lot more videos with the e Revo 2.0 e Revo 1.0 1 tenth scale and the mini e Revos um, like I said my first car ever was a first real RC car was a mini e Revo about five or six years ago I think about five years ago not six six years ago I saw the same car on my channel uh, and I'll have a lot more content coming to you guys so yeah I don't know there's something going on with this car because it likes to pull really hard to the left even though I have my my steering trim uh, likes to pull really hard to the right even though I have my steering trim turn uh, to the left like about three quarters to the left on my remote control Maybe I need to see if the um, maybe I need to see if the steering horn is uh, straight on the uh, servo. Yeah, just like that. I likes to pull real hard to the right. So um, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see, um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, bye.